Uh, hello, my name is Chongbin Go, I'm from Kai, and my topic is the cross the packet fragmentation for uh, the Lazada transmission of our IT system. And then, this is all about our, our work. We are making the Lazada video data transmission scheme for the IP TV service over the prioritized network on a per packet basis. And then for doing that, we are using the cross-site priority or right awareness to assign the high transition priority for significant video data. And for we use two kinds of information. First one is MPEG to TS system information, and second one is the ABC NAR header information. And by adapting our skills, we have two key advantages. First one is the enhancing the utilization of transfer video data. And second one is the, this is a lightweight scheme, so you can apply the access points for your servers, even if you are a small device, you can use it. So our content is composed by five sections. And first, first case. So nowadays we are using many smart devices, smartphones, smart pads, smart TVs, and we don't want to use it over the wired connections, because wired is too complicated and then we don't want to connect it somewhere. So we normally use it for the wireless transmissions and we got the service from the wireless kinds of Bluetooth and then Vines, Vimeos and then IP service. Because these services are those are the multimedia services, their traffic is massive and then the Cisco reports show that the the multimedia traffic will occupy most of the internet traffic for the and then Wi-Fi traffic. So the problem is we want to get service without any distortions, any, any problems, but the, we have problems. The problem is the available bandwidth of current Wi-Fi is not sufficient. Kinds so of all devices are connected to Wi-Fi. And then APs are sending the data. But the, when the multiple streams are coming more and more and more, and the AP becomes overloaded, and then the bandwidth becomes insufficient for it. So the, due to these problems, the mobile users are supported by the service connection losses, and then video quality degradation. So how to, how to how can you solve these ones? The solutions? We have the maybe two major solutions we have. First is extend the available benefits of Wi-Fi, such as A.11, AC, and AD. And second one is the kinds of software solutions for it. Enhancing the transmission efficiency of the video streamings. In other words, transmit video data with a concentration of L resilience. So our research is focused on the second part. And then, primarily, primarily many focus on the prioritized video data transmission. So, in the conventional video data transmission schemes, we have two main parts. First one is data partition partition. Second one is the video frame partition. We will discuss shortly for about that. So, data partition partition is based on the ABC extended profiles and make the data partitions from the video streams and then they align the important video data to the high priority data, data partitions and arrange it and then transmit it. So all the video data are prioritized on a per data partition basis. And the second one is video frame partition. So video frame, this is the most commonly used framework for the sending the prioritized transmissions. So Video frames are prioritized according to their importance. Normally, kinds of I frame has better high, high priority than P frames. P frames has high priority than P frames, so like that. So, in the in these schemes, all video days are prioritized on a per frame basis. But the conventional schemes have several limitations. First, I already mentioned that. Data partition, partition partition scheme part is confined to the extended profile of ABC. And we do not use ABC profile, uh, extended profile anymore because the encoding efficiency is too low and then no more practical applications use it. And second one is, as I introduced, 
the previous approaches are based on the data partitions and then video frames. But actually, we are transmitting the video, video data over the packets, not for the frames and data partitions. Over the Wi Fi, they are controlled by the packets and they, they are transmitted by minimal packets. So, the data partitions and video frames are too light to cover the kinds of transmission issues over the Wi Fi. So, we need more fine grained units for it. And then, last one is the IP TV service is now serviced over the Wi Fi, but just a few studies are exist for it. So for doing that, we suggest the cross-layer prioritization scheme for IPTV service on a per packet basis. And before introducing our schemes, I want to show a short brief explain about the why per packet prioritization is important. This is the tax project in 2009. Dropping a single IP packet at the beginning of the iframe is the same as removing, removing the whole the iframe. And it is the same as the four P-frames, like headers, like that. So, what is, this? What is this? that? This is the binary data of normal video, video file name Intel. And there is the flagship kinds of 474044, 1C0001. This indicates the startup frames. And then decoders should read this kind of patterns to, re to recognize the Consequent videos are occurred according mm. uh, including to the P frames or I frames. So the, if the this package is lost it and make the data will put the page like this. All zeros are computed here. And then all the following data will be discarded because they are useless. Equal doesn't know the, what the, what the, this data means. Before. So the and if this impact will be propagated to the all the GOPs kinds of if the I frame high resolution, then all counts from the B and P frames are affected by that. If the P frame high losses, all the B and P frames which are record record the P that P frame for the decoding it will be affected. So is it possible to solve by the this problem with the conventional products package schemes? Maybe not, because I already told you that. The other part is to oscillate, use to oscillate the profiles, and then video frame cannot handle this problem because they hand, it handles the video data on a per frame basis. So it cannot handle like this. It cannot assign high priority to B frame headers and B frame headers like that. So we need a more fine grade, fine grade prioritization scheme for it. So we suggest the a packet prioritization scheme called PAPS. So for doing that, we assign high transmission priority to video data, which have significant impact on decoding the transmit video data for IP, IPD service and per packet basis. For doing that, we are classifying the video data for the AT. ABC over FFTS, like this, you assign high priority to these this data, SPS, TPS, TPNT, and then I frame headers, I frame data, P frame header, P frame header, P frame, P frame header, and low priority to the data. And for the classifying that, we have to analyze the structure of the FFTS and then AC, H, the ABC. So we analyze all the structure so that kinds of PAT, PAT has PS, how to sell the PSA, PSI, PID, various for it, and then how can you figure out if this is the frame pattern, perspective of the frames, kinds of it. And after that, we using the ABC in our headers for the figure out this video data is either or something else. And based on this classification and then Information we really make the algorithms for it. This is a seems like simple, but the, you have to know about the, how to the video they are transmit over the these structures. So maybe you can find out the details of my our algorithm in the paper. So by doing that, 
Based on this algorithm, we make the implementation over the Wi-Fi multimedia. So, in order to show the our effects, our impact of our schemes, we, pre, we compare the our schemes and the conventional frame pattern schemes. The main difference is to the main difference is the how the frame headers are classified to the high priority or low priority. In our schemes, those frame headers are all frame headers are classified to high priority. And then in the conventional frame frame pattern schemes, the pre, frame headers are classified to low priority. So for doing that, we make two programs from the First one is priority markers, and second is priority packet serializer. The videos are transmitted from the video server using the VST server, and transmit over that, and transmit to the AP. And AP has the prioritized uh, transmission scheme called Wi-Fi working videos. It is, this, this function is supported from the ALS.11G to the end, the big AC has it. So after that, it, are, it is transmitted over the wireless with the prioritized transmissions, and deliver to the clients. This is a screenshot of our environments. So for analyzing the video, videos, we use the three types of videos. First is bird, just the only one bird is in here. And second is bird. Cloud of birds are here. And the Sinta is the, the kind of trailer of the games. Videos, games. All the other settings are equal, but the, just the, the number of frames are different between them. So for the event, we use three metrics for it. First one is the package utilization ratio for the video streams, and second one is the current frame loss ratio, and then the last one is the PSNR. Actually, we want to use it uh, we want to analyze for the TSNR, but it was not sufficient to, to analyze our results. So we made the first match matches for ourselves. <coughs> so we, I want to interest in it first. PRB is the metric for the not all delivered video packets are used to use to decode a video data streams. So PRB is a ratio for estimating the utilization of delivered packets which are used for decoding the video stage. The equation is simple. <coughs> divide divide decoded, decoded FFTS packets with successfully delivered FFTS packets. So here is our result, first result. This one is for the result about the PMB frame header delivery ratio. The y-axis indicates the PMB header delivery ratio, and x is the total packet delivery ratio. So, the, the straight line is the our result by pass, and then the dotted line is the result by prime pattern. As you can show that all in the all three videos, our scheme always provide more deliver ratio for the PMB frame headers. And as a consequence, the PURB always higher than the frame frame, frame pattern stations in all the packet delivery ratios. So how about the number of frames to decode? Number of frames decode is a, is a have impact on the how many frames are freezed, freezed in the, during the playback. So we estimate the, the how many frames are lost in the during the transmissions. For the first is it first first <coughs> is the speed frames. So for the three videos, our scheme always maintained under 10% loss of frames. Even the packet delivery ratio are under 70%, 60%. And uh, compared with that, the conventional frame partition is going up when the PDR is, low, PDR is worse. And then even the 9% is showed in more than 10% loss of the frames. The difference also the same set. And the, frame, the result of the is more significant than the P-primes. So, because the, we have to show something for the our result. So we make the PSNR evaluation comparison for between the conventional frame pattern scheme and the for the on the PDR 92%. So 
So as you can see that this is part of so because our video is too long, so this is part of the prime prime result. So average five percent higher than PSL now. The screenshot show that the upper two are two frames are screenshots are our ones. The below two ones are by the conventional frame pattern skills. Because these frames are pleased or affected by the loss of the frames, they are they are the qualities are degraded. So the more distortions and then the kinds of more let's say fridges are here. Maybe you can see not cannot see the fridges, right? So for this is not maybe this is our result. And then it's my computer is low slow so maybe you are showing some delays for it. So upper is our result and lower is the Resolved by conventional frame partition. So maybe since the most many frames are lost on the frame partition skins, the more frames are here. It's too short, too small to show them. Oh. So the conclusion is the our skin guarantees. Uh, high uh, resolution transmission of, of single video, video data on per packet basis. And then the path is not depending, it's independent on the ABC profile. So you don't have to use specific profiles for applying it. And the path is, both path is a lightweight and then there's a small compound for the enhancing the quality. So it does not require any significant changes for the existing network infrastructures. And lastly, the path only, only consumes just, just small of the city consumption, city power spread. This is our, this end of our talk. Thank you again. 